guys, my name is Simeon. My name is Cora. And we're gonna be showing you the level two tango. Level two for us, we call it uh, level two, but it's just bronze level uh, for competition. We're gonna start from the beginning of a little combination we've made for you. We're not going in order of difficulty, but this is all bronze level or lower. <laughs> that we're going to do for you today is going to be two walks progressive link natural promenade turn into an open promenade what's important to know about this combination is that it's completely legal to dance at a syllabus bronze level uh, competition so you guys are going to be fine as far as invigilators go and in future videos we're going to add on to the combination we're going to tell you exactly where you want to do it on the floor if you want to make a little routine out of it combination we are not going to go into detail about the two walks and progressive link uh, we should have learned those already in uh, in level one so we're going to kind of gloss over those really quickly and we're going to focus all of our attention on the natural promenade turn and the open promenade today okay so for the guys part we're going to start with two walks and a progressive link again I won't go into detail but that's the beginning so I go two walks starting on the left foot forward on slow slow now the progressive link is quick, quick. The first step is just like another walk, but it's a quick. And then I step to the side, quick. And just to note, the side step's not very big. It really depends on the type of progressive link we're gonna do, but this one's not gonna be very big. After the progressive link, we're gonna step in promenade slow. Second step's gonna be also in promenade quick. And at this point, I'm gonna turn in front of the lady. I'm gonna cut her off and actually jump on the outside track and I'm gonna keep her going in the same direction. So I won't move her with me. I'll just cut in front of her and let her pass me. Yeah, so this is gonna be quick. I'm gonna turn on this foot and then I let her pass by. And when I've uh, done enough turn, so this one could turn more or less, but then enough turn, I'm gonna step forward between the legs and turn to promenade position. From here, I do the open promenade. Just like a promenade close, but I finish with my feet open, I walk in promenade slow. The second step, quick, is in promenade position. Then from here, I'm gonna turn the lady just enough to tell her to close. But from here, instead of closing my feet, I'm gonna go one more step outside partner, and most likely, I will do a little bit of a rotation to the, just slightly to the right. If you watch our video of the demonstration, I think I, I stepped outside this way, like in a preparation for an outside swivel. But I would probably go slow, quick, quick, and then I'm going to go a little rotation to the right as I step outside partner. So that last step would be in CBMP, so it'd be in one track outside the lady's legs. So for the ladies part, as Simi mentioned before, we're going to go quickly through the two walks in progressive length. So my two walks have rotation to them, so I'm going walk, walk. Now from here progressive length, I'm going to step back on my pinky toe, rotate on my foot, and then place my left foot just beneath my left shoulder in promenade position. So from here, I'm gonna do the natural promenade turn. So the natural promenade turn, I'm gonna go forward in promenade position on slow. Now, as the man steps across me, I'm gonna step with my left foot turned in slightly. So this is a very important uh, little detail because that turning of my left foot inwards is going to make it easier for the man to rotate around. Now from here, I'm going to rotate my arms around my hips. I'm going to step forward with my right foot, okay? And as I step forward on that foot, I'm going to roll from the heel into the ball of the foot to dance a slight pivot. And now I'm going to step kind of back and diagonally to the side of my left foot and pivot to end in promenade position again. So I'm in this position. Now my open promenade from here, 
My right foot is gonna go forward on slow in promenade position. Then I'm gonna step forward on quick. Now the man is going to generally turn us to close position. There's two different ways to dance open promenade. In this version, the man is gonna close us. So now we're in close position. But then, because he adds a little bit of rotation, either from taking his uh, direction of travel on the diagonal, or by rotating the body towards me, it tells me that we're gonna step outside partner on slow. Now what's really important about that last step is that when I take this step on slow, that I have to keep the foot turned in. So my toe is pointing back towards the curtain instead of pointing out towards you. Because if it's pointing out, then I'm turning my hip away from the man versus keeping my body facing towards the man now, in this position here, I'm going to point my right foot, but the pressure of my right foot is going to be on the pinky toe, so on the outside edge of the foot. All right, guys, now we're going to show you how to dance it together. So we're going to start with the two walks and the progressive link, and I'll show you what I meant on that progressive link with the side step. So we do two walks and slow, slow. Now the third one, the third walk, is part of the progressive link. I go quick in CVMP, and I'm gonna rotate. As I arrive on the leg, I rotate and step to the side. Now what I do, and what I do is I take a small step and I rotate my body to promenade. She's going to follow that and take the appropriate size step in the appropriate direction. From here, we do two walks. Slow, I step in promenade, Quick. Now, ladies, check my foot. This is where I turn my foot in. Yeah, so remember that little detail that I talked about earlier? You can see that in this position here, his foot is pointing towards the front, yeah? That's because his, his foot is already starting the rotation. So now my foot is also pointing towards the front, and that turning in at the foot makes it easier for him to make it around me on the next part of the step. From here, I'm gonna step around, like kind of like a spin turn. It's going to be a backward step and side at the same time because it still has momentum for me. I step around, yeah? I rotate Cora while I'm still on my left foot and I step underneath. Basically, I aim for her spine, but I don't want to go too big and run her over. I aim for her spine, place her, and rotate my body a little bit extra to put her in promenade position. From here, we do the, the, the open promenade. So I go walk forward and promenade, walk forward and promenade. And then this one, because there's no rotation, I don't have to turn my foot extra to the right or to the left. Now I close her, so I'm step to the side as I close her. And what I mean by closing is I rotate my shoulders counter to my hips, sorry. I rotate my shoulders counter to my hips. So my hip stays where it is and I rotate my shoulder. Because in promenade, my shoulders are a little to the right of my hips. And as a result, now because I'm torqued to the right, I can go to neutral position as I take my side step. So when I say I close her, that's what I mean. So here we go, I've closed Cora. So I've taken the side step, I've closed her. Now, this one's done a little bit differently sometimes, but if I did it slowly, I probably would rotate a little more to my right after I've closed her to set myself up with the outside partner. But it kind of depends on what I'm gonna do next. If I was doing an outside swivel, I actually probably would rotate a little more to the left. But if I'm just gonna do a normal open finish, I'd probably rotate just slightly to the right. Yeah. And I'm outside partner, and I'm in one track outside of repeat. Right. All right, so ladies, let's talk uh, really quickly about your head turns, okay? So, when I'm going from close to promenade position in the progressive link, I'm going to time my head turn from close to promenade, so that means from left to right, I'm gonna time that head turn with the rotation of my foot. So if you remember, I mentioned earlier that I'm rotating my right foot to end the promenade before I place my weight on my left foot. My head and the turn of my head is going to be perfectly timed with that. So just to demonstrate the progressive length, we're going to go quick, turn, and place. Okay? For the natural promenade turn, my head turn is going to be timed with Simeon closing around me. Yeah, so that's going to happen somewhere in between the second and the third step. So, we are going slow, quick. Now, as you rotate, I turn my head on quick. 
Now we're gonna pivot, take our second pivot, and as my left foot turns, my head turns with that. For the open promenade, my head is gonna stay in promenade position on the slow, in promenade position on the quick. Now, Simi is going to rotate me to close, and I'm gonna time my head with the rotation of my hips. So if we do that step one more time, I'm in promenade here, we turn to close, my head turns with that. Now when I step out in, in the outside partner position, my head stays to the left. All right guys, now I have something to work on. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comment sections uh, and we will uh, take a look at it and uh, respond in a future video. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos as well, let us know. Uh, but hopefully this was uh, of help for you guys. In the next lesson, we are going to continue on with this combination and teach you guys a few more steps from bronze level tango. Again, the combination is completely legal at uh, syllabus level. So if you are looking to put together a combination for a uh, syllabus level competition, you guys are good with this combination. Go have fun with it. Hope you guys practice hard, stay safe out there, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.